When people give their lives for others, they give it for a noble cause and they give it specifically for something or someone. Jesus' was, his death was not that way at all. Jesus' death is for all of humanity and there are two big themes or ideas that is brought together by Jesus' death and his resurrection. The first is what we would call that everybody everywhere is in one sense longing for a restoration with God. We are separated from God and we all collectively long for that restoration with God. And the second theme is this, that no one on their own accord can be restored unto God. Everybody needs to be restored to God. No one on their own accord can be restored to God. What is fascinating about Jesus' death as opposed to any other sacrificial life giving of anybody is that Jesus alone died for everyone so that no one needs to perish. And that's exactly what we see in the scriptures in John and chapter 3 verse 16 where we are told that God's deep love for the world is the reason why he gave Jesus Christ. And because of him, what he does on the cross, by faith in him, for anyone who believes in him, they will not perish, but have eternal life. You see, our predicament is that we are all separated from God. And none of us can fix that on our own. The death of Jesus Christ is what makes the provision for this predicament. His resurrection gives us the assurance that all of us who place our faith in Jesus Christ will be made whole, our relationship with God is restored, and by that, by extension, our relationship with each other will be made whole as well.